Good morning, Colmers. We are the second year Bachelor of Science in Business Administra Administration, presenting our weekly output. This is the story of Mrs. Angel and how she stands up against the stereotypes of society to do what she loves. Let us welcome our host, Ms. Didina. Thank you so much, Mr. Jover. Driving public transportation has always been viewed as a male's job. As a male's job. However, what would it mean if a woman and a mother filled that job? How would our society react? And what are we doing as a nation to ensure that everyone would have an equal opportunity regardless of gender and our society's prejudice? Let us welcome Mrs. Angel Pidlawan who will share her experience and thoughts as one of the few female bus drivers in the country. Let us, let us also give warm welcome to our legal, legal advisors today Attorney Mary Claire from University of the Philippines, Attorney Julianne from the Women's Rights Council of the Philippines, and Attorney Lorenzo from the Department of Social Welfare and Development. Mrs. Angel, good morning. Good morning to you too, Ms. Divina, and to everyone present today. So, Mrs. Angel, can you please tell us your story and and more about yourself. Hi, I am Angel. I am a mother of two wonderful children, a boy and a girl. My husband works as an office employee and will live in Las Piñas City. As I grew up, my father exposed me to driving. At a very young age, I learned how to drive a four-wheel vehicle. Ever since then, even though I already got married and had children, I still desired to become a driver one day. Wow, that was such a nice story. But was it hard? You know, having a work in a male-dominated job? Yes, it was definitely hard. And even now, people are still not accepting of having a woman as a bus driver, especially as a commercial bus driver. I would sometimes hear people speak behind my back saying that, oh, I am afraid that we would get into accidents because, you know, she is a girl. Woman should just stay at home and take care of her children and husband and so on and so forth. That is very, that is not very nice, you know. Yes, I know it is not, but we can just love it up and continuously prove them wrong. Yeah, I get you. And one more question, Mrs. Angel. Can you share with us some instances where you, let, you felt that you are not treated unfairly in the job? Oh yes, for a starter, it was no secret that I love driving. My family knows it very well. My husband is actually planning to buy our own car, but because his life not that generous, we are not able to afford it. So when my son saw the municipality notice for female bus drivers, I quickly talked to my husband. At first, he was reluctant, but he knew that it had always been my passion and eventually agreed. When I was applying for the job, they told me to have a special license for public transportation, which is 10 times harder than the regular driver's license. When I was hired, some of my male colleagues spoke behind my back saying that I would cause an accident and that I would eventually quit, but of course, I proved them wrong. Later on, they were convinced that I am a good driver. Wow, you really did a good job. It was so brave of you to continue what you love, Mrs. Angel. If I were on your shoes, I would probably do the same. All right, for a moment, let me call for our, for our legal advisors. First off, Miss Mary Claire, a lawyer from University of the Philippines, specialized in women's right to question about this work issue regarding gender discrimination. Good morning, Attorney Claire. Nakamute ka po. Good morning to you too, Ms. Tibina. In our 1987 Constitution, Article 2, Section 4, it states that the state recognizes the role of woman in nation building. It shall ensure the fundamental equality before the law of women and men. The state shall protect 
supporting women by providing safe and helpful working conditions, taking into account the material functions and such facilities and opportunities that will enhance their welfare and enable them to realize their full potential in the service of the nation. Women want equal opportunities, support, and mentorship. Women want the same thing as men do, equal opportunities at work and support and mentorship for career progression. They want the ability to work on assignments that fuel their passion and allow them to make difference while connecting to their, to their work-life balance. Regarding to Ms. Angel's situation or a state institution, we are trying equal rights for men and women. This means that every law that is being created must be gender neutral. In this type of situation, it is wrong to impose a special license to a person just because she is a woman to get a job. Oh, I'm so sorry with that. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, attorney. You know, women often have responsibilities as well in their home, especially like Mrs. Angel, who is a mother of two. And speaking of being a mother, Mrs. Angel, how is it like to be a wife and a mother and a boss lady? As I said, being a bus driver is not easy. I have to work long hours six times a week. And as a mother, I also have to look after my children and husband. It is physically draining and mentally exhausting. But because I love driving, I consider driving as the rest time of my day. Unlike men who rest when they get home, I am expected to head straight to the kitchen, make dinner, and attend to the kids. That is exhausting. I seriously admire your dedication. Would you agree with me, Attorney Julian? Yes, I definitely, I definitely agree with you, Ms. Julian. Especially that she had to face some discriminating remarks and treatment at work. I seriously admire her work ethic and dedication to her jobs and responsibility. That is why it is very important to implement gender equality so that everyone would have an equal chance to do the things that they are passionate about. In the 1987 Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines, Article 13, Section 14, it states that the state shall protect working women by providing safe and helpful working conditions, taking into account their maternal functions and such facilities and opportunities that will enhance their welfare and enable them to realize their full potential in the service of the nation. So, as the section 14 stated, uh, let's focus on maternal function. This bill addresses the need of women for sufficient medical screening during their pre-maternity period. So, this bill mandates a one-day leave every month with payment from filing of notice of such pregnancy until delivery, abortion, or even miscarriage. So, it simply means that Company must provide benefits to women, same as for men. So these benefits recognizes the right of women to support services that will enable them to balance their family obligations and work responsibly. Uh, for further insight and to give us more explanation, let us welcome uh, Sir Gretzel from the SWD. Hi, Attorney. How are you? Thank you, Attorney Julian. I'm good. I hope you're doing well. To further show the legal support of our constitution for equal rights for men and women, and to answer the negative situation of Miss Angel, we can quote from Republic Act 7192, Women in Development and National Building Act Section 5, Equality and Capacity to Act. 